seeing steam coming out of a little coffee mug or like a tea. It's so cute. I hope you guys can see it on the screen. Anyways, good morning. It's Monday morning. I'm in a much better mood this week, at least so far. I mean, it's still 9 a.m. on a Monday morning, so there's plenty of time for it to no, 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 you know what? No, we're having a good week, we're having a good week. I'm going to Costco this morning, so I definitely want to bring you guys along because I feel like I haven't done a grocery haul. I haven't done that much food-related content on YouTube. I haven't really done much fitness-related content because I haven't been, fitness is not my entire life anymore. I do want to do kind of a fitnessy themed little fall cozy vlog today. We're gonna go to Costco, we're gonna do a haul. I hope I can find some fall related stuff at Costco. Canada's always lacking on the fall and Christmas related snacks. We don't have Trader Joe's. We only have Farm Boy and even Farm Boy doesn't really do anything fall related. So I'm really gonna try to find some stuff today, we'll see. Look at this new little ambiance I put on. A bookstore in the woods with the rain? Imagine I was just like watching this, like walking on my desk treadmill and this is what I was watching, ambiance. I would do that. On my YouTube and Instagram, you're nailing it. You're literally nailing it. You're my most favorite YouTuber on the planet. So. Just shut your little face. And then, what else? Don't be so hard on yourself. I love you so much. XOXO, can't wait to watch the rest. <laughs> she works for Alphalete, and I met her for the first time when I was in Toronto, and all the Alphalete people came to Toronto. Oh, she's literally a sweet, sweet little angel. I wanted you guys to hear all her good vibes, and I hope her good vibes got sent out to you too. Because my day's made, so I hope your day's made too. <laughs> Emosh right there. I paused it at 222. I made a fall playlist. I've never shared my playlist before, but this one, oh, hi. Apple Crisp, I made it public. None of my other playlists are public because I'm self-conscious and I music is so personal to me. But Apple Crisp, if you guys want a fall playlist, I made it public. 
so you guys can totally go download apple crisp i think i'll make in a jazz bar public too because that's my jazz playlist and it's so fire but i have some duplicate songs on here so i need to redo it but apple crisp <laughs> hey okay slight problem <laughs> costco didn't let me in the door yeah, so you know how you have to technically have your own membership to go into Costco? Well, my boyfriend and I share his membership as we have for the past like five years, but they have a new system where instead of people, you just like showing your card when you go in, you have to scan your card. And if your photo doesn't match the one on the card, they're like, no, 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 no girl, no entry for you. So I did get stopped at the door and they were like, actually, this picture's not you, you cannot enter. Which I get it, I get it. Listen, I get it. It's their policy. My name's technically not on his card. So I went to Farm Boy, which honestly maybe worked out because they had they had kind of a lot of false stuff at Farm Boy this time. I did one of these bags. I think it's this one. This whole bag is all false stuff. So maybe it was a blessing in disguise. You know what? Costco staples though so that was the only issue but let's let's haul all the stuff we have okay whoa this is bending eggs farm boy does have some interesting meat selections I've never gotten this from them before it's a flattened chicken they had a bunch this is a peri peri one just toss it in the oven and it's ready to go Greek yogurt so expensive at farm boy egg whites and then I got a bunch of burgers I do like the farm boy burger options. So we really like these ones. Jalapeno Jack burgers, double smoked bacon cheddar burger, pale turkey burgers. The salmon was so expensive for a small piece. So I ended up getting rainbow trout. Love these from Farm Boy. This is jalapeno stuffed chicken breast. And then this one is cranberry pecan, pecan. These are really good, really convenient for work nights hot Italian sausages. I really like having sausages, especially in the fall. Sheet pan with some vegetables, a butternut squash. You guys know I'm obsessed with roasting butternut squash. I'll cut it in half and roast it in the oven and I will eat the like entire half, the whole big thing. It's so good. I got this cabbage carrot coleslaw situation because I do have some white fish in the freezer. So I wanna make some fish tacos and I wanna make like a slaw for that. A thing of Brussels sprouts more egg whites. Sauerkraut. I love sauerkraut. This was sausage too. My German heritage is showing here. Three avocados. I don't know where the third one is. It's somewhere in here. Some asparagus. I love getting these carrots from Farm Boy. The like multicolor carrots. I don't know why, but they taste better. They're so good. Speak of the devil. Giant butternut squash. Avocado oil. There's the third little avo. I got some tortillas. I've never seen these ones before. These ones are jalapeno tortillas to make tacos or like burritos later in the week with some ground bison that we still have in the freezer. Beets. I love beets and I always get the pre-cooked ones. Costco hasn't had these in months. Farm Boy came through with the little beets. Some more wraps. These are just original tortillas. These are going to be for the uh, or the uh, fish tacos. I do like the sal like the pre-made salads at Farm Boy. My mom introduced me to this one. It's the Harvest Grains. So it has like sweet potato, squash, kale, which kale does hurt my stomach, but 
it's at night and I kind of massage it with some oil, I'll survive, even though kale does hurt me. Some beets, and then it's filled with quinoa at the bottom as well. So it's like a really good pre-made salad. I think I got a balsamic. Yeah, just a balsamic vinaigrette. This is the best plain popcorn to ever exist. It's Himalayan pink salt and it's popped with coconut oil. It's so good. I'm so good. And this is the only place you can get it. It's from Boy Brand. I love this popcorn so much. Puffins peanut butter. It's a cereal. I wanted to try a different bread and they had a cranberry pumpkin seed bread, which I felt like was kind of on brand for today. I wish I could smell it. With avocado toast, why do I feel like that would be good? Now for the fun things. This isn't exactly fall. Some of the things aren't really fall, but they're like orange and kind of give me fall energy. Let me come over, let me come closer to you. We felt really far away for that. So let, let me show you all the fun fall things. This is orange vanilla sparkling water. Orange vanilla sounds delicious. They had a lot of pies and baked goods. I didn't want to go too crazy buying all these like cookies, but I easily could have because there was a lot of delicious sounding cookies and such. However, I did get this because it was a single serve. I had pumpkin spice cookies in my cart, but then I was like, A, I'm gonna eat all of these probably in like two days. And I'm in that weird, I'm in kind of a weird spot with food where if it's in my house, I'm, I can't stop thinking about it and I really need to eat it. I don't know. I'm in, I'm in a weird spot where I'm using, are we getting into this therapy session right now? I guess so. I have discovered through therapy and just through learning more about myself that I use food as a safety coping mechanism situation and a way to make myself feel safe is by distracting myself and I'm an avoidant. I'm the most avoidant bitch you've ever met in your life. I have extreme avoidant tendencies, which I have learned about a lot through therapy, I will do anything to avoid feeling pain. In school, I would use food as a way to distract myself from feeling immense stress. Binge eating, which is something I struggled with all through end of high school, university, even now into my adult life as an almost 30 year old, I still do struggle with the binge tendencies, but I have discovered that it's not just because of restriction. So I did restrict myself and like starve myself in grade 11 and grade 10 a ton. When I got my braces on, a lot of you guys know this whole story already, so I'm not gonna get too much into it, but I restricted myself super heavily and ended up starting to binge. And I think what led to me starting to binge was finding that safety in food as well as the restriction. So it was distracting myself from feeling difficult emotions and also because my body needed food and needed calories. So I kind of have two issues when it comes to food and I use food as a coping mechanism a lot, but I really see this pattern happen when I'm feeling really, really stressed or really freaked out. I immediately want to drop everything eat a bunch of food, put on a show and completely like dissociate and just not think about everything that I need to think about. And if I just watch TV with no food as a distraction, it's not enough of a distraction. So I need to be having constant snacks while I'm watching a show. And that was how I would distract myself in school. And it's kind of like led on into adult life too, that when I feel these hard emotions like stress or feeling overwhelmed or anxiety or feeling sad, I will turn to food a lot. So in summary, that's why I didn't buy a box of cookies today. <laughs> because I'm feeling very in that heavily right now where I'm just feeling a lot of emotions recently and a lot, I'm like going through a lot of things. So I'm finding I'm resorting to binge tendencies is what I'm trying to say. So because I bought a single serve item because <laughs> Uh, that's all I can handle right now, okay? Or I would have bought a bunch of those snacks, but I just know, I know myself and I know it would have been really not healthy for me to do right now. So I didn't buy those things because they're unhealthy. I didn't buy them because I know right now in this point in my life where I'm at, I would have eaten all of them within like two days and struggled, so. God, 
Okay, I did get the, oh no, it fell over. I'm so excited for this though, and I'm so glad they had little single serves for people with mental illness like me. <laughs> I'm sure that's why they have it. This is pumpkin spice filled cru cruffy or cruffle? Cruffy, they call them cruffies. It's like a croissant muffin, and it's pumpkin spice filled. This is gonna be so good. We're gonna have this with a little tea or a coffee later and I cannot wait. This just looks like fall. Tell me this doesn't look like fall. This isn't fall related, but these are Greek yogurt covered raisins. Don't ask me why I wanted these. I really don't know. And there was Greek yogurt covered almonds as well. These were just calling to me and I don't, I don't know why. Oh, I need to put this in the freezer. So let me show it to you right now. Oat Rageous Pumpkin Spice Latte. This is Farm Boy Oat Based Ice Cream. And this is the Pumpkin Spice Latte flavor. Another drink I got, which this doesn't necessarily fall, but this just gives me fall energy. I've never seen, first of all, I love Zevia. I know everyone says Zevia. I say Zevia and I say Stevia. Don't come for me. Zevia, Zevia, whatever. Ginger root beer? Have I had this before? I don't know. I feel like I've only had the root beer one and then ginger ale. I don't recall having a ginger root beer one and the colors just screamed fall. I have never seen this flavor before. This is burnt caramel? Dark chocolate? Okay, and then I got three coffee things. So this first one, I got this last year, I think too. This is the pumpkin spice coconut whipped topping. And it's so yummy. It's so yummy. Just like a little spray this on top of coffee. Then this one, I got this little oat creamer and it's chai spice. Yum. And then this, this, I'm really unsure on this. This is gonna be interesting. This is called Yo Fit. It's a chickpea beverage, which firstly, I don't even think I can digest chickpeas that well, but maybe if it's in this, it'll be fine. It's vanilla cinnamon with maple syrup and there's 10 grams of protein in it. So that's in one cup, there's 10 grams of protein. So like protein, vanilla cinnamon coffee, a little iced coffee with this, can make a protein shake with this. So maybe it's a blessing in disguise because if we ended up going to Costco, I wouldn't have gotten all of this fun stuff. All my little fall stuff. But this is my grocery haul. I'm about to film a little reel for Instagram and it's time to try this. I'm gonna be, I have to get like super cozy for my little reel because I'm making a reading in the summer versus reading in the fall reel. You've, you've probably seen it by now if you follow me. You're up in the sky, sweater on but I am sweating I have not tried this yet because I wanted to try it on camera with you guys let's try it it smells so good it's like a croissant muffin donut I think because this is kind of like a churro almost on the outside and then this is a pumpkin spice let me just put some of the cream sorry this is really gross whoa it's really like goopy should I heat it up oh, it's so goopy it's so sticky. This, the middle part is almost too gummy. It's like sticks to my teeth. And it's not as pumpkin-y as I was hoping. It's not very like pumpkin spicy. I wish it was more of a frosting. Like a little cream cheese frosting or something. It's so goopy. Can you see it stretching? The texture is really weirding me out of that. I should have got the cookies. I'm really trying to like it, but honestly, it's a big letdown. I'm not getting pumpkin spice whatsoever, to be honest. And I don't like the texture. I'm just such a cookie girl. I'm not as much of a croissant, uh, what are those triangle things? I don't know, anything like doughy and flaky. I'm not so much that. I'm a brownies and cookies girl. 
if there's a cookie at a cafe, that's 9 times out of 10 I'm getting the cookie. Or some sort of bar. My favorite sweet treat is the Score cookie bar at Black Walnut. It's delicious. It's a cookie bar. Of course I love it. This, I would give it a 3 out of 10. If it had a more strong pumpkin spice flavor, it'd be a much higher rating, but I don't taste pumpkin spice at all. It looks way better than it tastes. <laughs> Just tripped over my own pants. Little book update. I finished Six of Crows this weekend. I ended up giving it a four. It was really good, especially for YA. If you're a YA fan, absolutely recommend Six of Crows. No spice, barely touching the surface of a romance plot. And there is magic, but it's not the same as like a fantasy book. I wouldn't really call it fantasy. I don't know. I guess it kind of is fantasy though, because there is magic and people in it are magical i'd say more magical realism it's still a really good book really good story i did land on four stars because i typically lean towards more adult romanticy i'm now reading two twisted crowns and i cannot put it down i'm so happy to be back in this world i think i need to up my rating for one dark window i want to say i gave it 3.75 and i think i need to up it to a four or even a 4.25 because i think about one dark window a lot i think about it a lot I really like the plot and the concept of this entire world. It's so creative. I do not know where it's going to go. It has not been spoiled for me. So if you don't know what One Dark Window is about, it's, a, it's definitely fantasy. I would say romanticy. It's about this girl named Elsbeth and she has a creature, which she calls the nightmare, living in her brain. And it's just her kind of dealing with that. There's this whole thing about providence cards. That's how the magic system works in this is there are providence cards and each providence card allows you to do something magical when you use that card. So for example, there's a scythe card which allows you to control what somebody does. So if you tap that card three times, you can use the card to control someone, but there's always a price. So every time you use magic, there's a price attached to it. So let's say you use the scythe card for too long, it starts to cause pain in your body. It's a really, really cool, unique magic system and I love it. And I'm so excited to see how this duology ends because it is a duology. So this is the last one in the series. Hello, hello again. <gasps> hey guys. It's loot day. <laughs> I'm gonna try to film as much as I can, but it's Monday. And the gym is so busy on Mondays and... And then we get shy girl. We get really shy girl. It's only the busiest time of day. It's five o'clock on a Monday. We just warmed up a teeny bit and yapped. And now yapped. we're gonna do... The girl, bad girl. That. <laughs> that. I like your shirt, by the way. That's, that's so stunning. You're very on brand for your weekend. I put it, yeah, I put it lower. Low down, yeah. And then you can like tuck better. We're doing hip thrusts. We hate this machine because it's, it doesn't really suit us. It's made for men. Um, but the room with the barbells is taken by a class. So we're stuck with this. So we're just gonna go light with one plate. Huh. Get the whole thing. Hey guys. Hey guys. If you have one of these, use it. Yeah. She good. You can just like yeah. you can really sit back into the bootay. See look at that. Ooh. You know, it's way more balanced. We're doing Bulgarians. She can't hear me right now. We're just in a carnival. <laughs> We're sharing you can share you can share uh. music in your headphones with apple music so we're both listening to the exact same thing and we can like change it for each other it's the best highly recommend so we get to work out and listen to the same music but we're doing 10 reps with weight 10 reps with uh body weight go 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 <laughs> Techniques. It's crazy. Because you put your foot and you kick straight back and I turn my foot. 
Like your foot is like this way kicking, and my yeah. foot's this way kicking. Whoa! Really? Yeah. Oh my so god. So how? Where do you feel it? I turn it once I hit the back. So like when I come forward, it stretches like oh. the outside of the glute, and then when I go back, yeah. I open it up. Yeah, because I don't get that deep stretch. So maybe I need to bring my foot. It's like in when you come get a forward, stretch. I almost think about almost like turn my foot in. Oh, like reach yeah, in. Yeah, right. Like you feel it like all stretching the outside. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try that. Hey guys, it is the next morning. I did not wrap up the vlog yesterday, but I hope you guys enjoyed that leg day. It was kind of brief. I didn't film too much. At least Jenny was there, so I felt a little bit more comfortable filming. You could not catch me filming alone. No. I was gonna talk more about my fitness routine, but I don't have one right now. I literally don't have a set routine. All I'm doing is lifting two to three times a week so I'll do two lower body days, one upper body day on a good week. Haven't had a good week in probably two months. I've been lifting like one upper, one lower throughout the week. And then I'll do yoga. I've been doing hot yoga at my gym or I'll do Pilates. And that is it. So I don't really have a set routine yet. I think I want to try to make more of a routine over the next couple months. And then I'll keep you more updated on that. But I really do want to try to make it to the gym three times a week for lifting. I want to lift three times a week. That's my goal. So I'll let you know if I stay true to that. And yeah, I'll just keep checking in, I guess. But also, thank you guys so much for all the comments on my YouTube video. I definitely just cried reading the comments on my last video. It just showed me I don't need to be scared to read YouTube comments anymore because everybody's so nice and sweet. And I'm so happy you guys like the book content. I'm so excited. Also my skeleton, I decided we're naming him Sir William. He just seems like he's a, he was, a, was? Yeah, he was a knight. He's Sir William. That's it, on that note, Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next fall vloggy.